guys, this is Psycho here. Today I'm on my Death Knight, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to use uh, basic abilities on my cars, uh, something my friends wanting to try to do. So, I'm just doing a quick tutorial on how to put your cooldowns to weak auras. Um, the one we are going to be doing in particular today is going to be uh, Pillar of Frost. So what you're going to do is go to make a texture. Uh, this is going to be um, showing the cooldown for Pillar of Frost. Uh, just come in here, choose your texture, you got a bunch to choose from, and then you can also do uh, different colorations for them. I'm going to choose uh, Frozen Fingers. Alright, now we're going to put this somewhere on the screen. Uh, you can rotate it, you can make it bigger. We're going to set this at 270 and make it a little wider. And then offset it to the middle. Just like that. Now let's bring it up a bit. Alright, so we got that set. Now we're going to add the trigger. What you're going to do is you're going to come in here. Um, since it's going to be tracking when it comes off cooldown, you're going to go to status and action usable. You're going to type in um, pillar of frost or whatever ability you're using and then require valid target though it'll only appear during combat um, I'm gonna load and actually you're not gonna have require valid target because the way pillar of frost works is it's a buff and not uh, cool that you use on a target so um, just distinguish that difference there all right so for this you're gonna want to have it in combat only it's a uh, you know, pretty simple. It's the only thing you really need on this page. You can also set it to only using uh, your character, so I'll have to flag us. So this will only appear when I'm on my death night. And then you go to actions if you want uh, your buttons to glow, which I like when my buttons glow. So you just come over here, you find your LBUI or whatever you're using, just click it, and then it should say, you know, LBUI bar button one. Uh, just like that. And now it should appear on cooldown when you're just in combat only. Uh, I'll give that a try here in 45 seconds. But we're also going to try a uh, progress text here now for your new uh, Pillar of Frost CD. Get a new progress texture. It's going to show the texture based on the duration left of Pillar of Frost. So, just come in here, go to Display. You're going to, once again, just choose a texture. We'll do Frozen Fingers. This time, we're going to just bring it over uh, a little bit and give it some more height. Just like that. Now the trigger is going to be the R. Um, it's going to be whatever buff appears whenever you activate Pillar of Frost. Pillar of Frost. And uh, this is just for buffs. Um, stuff like combustion necessarily you don't need. However, um, I'm sh you could still find ways to track that. But this is just a tutorial for buffs right now. Pillar of Frost is the R name we're going to be tracking. And then you come down here, um, remaining time, going to be, uh, you don't really need to worry about that, it should just appear while uh, you're doing Pillar of Frost. Pretty simple, and once again, only in combat, that you need to worry about that. And then actions, um, Pillar of Frost increases your strength by 15%, so there's no real need for button glows. So don't worry about that as much. And uh, that should be set up properly. I'm going to name this Pillar of Frost Progress. Now an easy way to have these together, that's what you can do, is go to New, Dynamic Group, and have this be Death Knight. And what we're going to do here is you can click uh, this little arrow and click the group. 
click the arrow, click the group. And now the Death Knight has uh, those two right there. Uh, except it's really awkwardly spaced. I'll fix that real quick. If I can. Hmm. There we go. Okay. So now, uh, it should only appear when we're in combat. See how they both do not show up. However, when I go into combat, the Pillar of Frost thing now shows up. When I can use it on cooldown. So, there it is now. Activate it, and then this will appear on the side. And it'll slowly decrease based on the time amount left on Pillar Frost. And just like that, you have something to keep track of when you can Pillar of Frost. Uh, voila! If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and uh, I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.